Hello everyone, it's Scott here from Anime Blu-ray UK and today I'll be unboxing the Collector's Edition release of Made in Abyss Binary Star Falling Into Darkness for the Nintendo Switch. So this particular game was released onto both PlayStation 4 and Nintendo Switch and I recently picked up this Collector's Edition of the game for the Nintendo Switch and I thought, hey, it'd be pretty fun to do an unboxing to show you guys what's inside. So to start off with, we have the front cover, which as you can see features the Nintendo Switch logo in the top left the Made in Abyss logo in the center, and then some really nice artwork of Rico and Reg and the main protagonist of this particular game, original story, uh, as well as the Peggy Rating and Numskull Games publisher logo at the bottom. So the game in America was published by Spike Chunsoft, and in um, uh, the UK and Europe, it was published by Numskull Games. Moving on to the spine, it's just pretty much basic text with the Nintendo Switch logo, so nothing exciting there. But the top of the box does have the actual Made in Abyss uh, binary star falling into darkness logo, as well as some sort of forestry design, which is quite nice to see. And the same can be said without the logo uh, on the bottom. Moving on to the back of the packaging, you'll notice that there's not really much text here. Uh, it just says, take the dive of your life, become a cave raider, and explore the world of Abyss. And obviously this game features two game modes. One game mode is the Abyss mode, where you get to follow the anime story. And then deep in Abyss mode is where you get to experience an original story with that uh, new character. In terms of this collector edition, it features both a cave raiding notebook and a cloth poster, which we'll get to see in a moment. But underneath the actual contents you saw a moment ago was just a couple of screenshots and then the usual technical details of how you can play this game on your Nintendo Switch. So with the plastic wrapping removed, let's take a closer look at the outer packaging once again. So we have the front cover and then we have the spines, which as you can see features the text printed in a different way depending on how you're going to have it displayed on your shelf. We have the top and then we have the back of the box. And one thing to note as well is that the actual packaging is itself it has sort of a rough, rugged material. It's not really that thin cardboard material. Uh, so it does have a little bit of premium quality in there, even if when you open the contents, there isn't much of a premium feel there. Moving on, we then have the actual Nintendo Switch game. So this is exactly the same as what you would receive if you were to purchase the standard physical version of the game. So we have the front cover, we have the spine, and then we have the back cover. And as you can see, the artwork and presentation on the physical uh, standard edition is completely different to that of the actual outer collector's box. So we've got some really cool artwork of Riku and Reg again. We've got a bit more detail about the Abyss mode and the original Abyss mode. And then a couple more screenshots showing you the actual game. Again, different screenshots compared to what was shown on the back of the box. And of course, the actual artwork on the front of the packaging is different to what was shown on the front of the box as well. Which, you know, more artwork is always great to see. Now, with the wrapping removed off this game, let's have a closer look. So we have the front, we have the spine, and the back cover. And then once we open it up, there's not really much to see other than the fact that the Nintendo Switch cartridge has been placed in upside down. Never had that before, so quite a unique thing to see. But on the inside, there's no additional artwork. It's just plain white. There isn't even an info sheet um, for health and safety and support warnings or anything like that. But as you can see, the Nintendo Switch cartridge has just the logo, some pretty interesting background artwork, and the uh, Peggy rating logo. Next up, we then have the cloth poster. So I'm not particularly sure of the exact dimensions of this cloth poster, but it is incredibly large, and it's the same artwork that's featured on the front packaging of the collector's box, where you have Rico, uh, Reg, and the protagonist of the original story mode. So it's the same artwork you see on the collector's packaging, uh, and it's some really nice artwork, but sadly there's no way to hang it up. It's just a cloth poster. And then finally, the last piece of the collector's edition of Made in Abyss, Binary Star into Falling Darkness is this Cave Raiders notebook, which is pretty much as it explains it is. It's a Cave Raiders notebook. So there's some really nice looking artwork around the outer sleeve of the notebook. And it's the same type of artwork that the Cave Raiders you sometimes see in the anime series use on their notebooks. And once you open it up, you'll be able to write your name there. As you can see, it says Cave Raider name. And then on the first, like, 10, 20 pages, there's information about the Abyss. So there's information about a couple of different monsters that will be encountered in the Abyss. 
as well as some of the different tools and whistles and things like that that are available in the actual game or within the actual anime and light novel and manga franchise. So there's quite an interesting amount of information here to have a look at, especially if you're a newcomer to Made in Abyss. Uh, but once you've gone past that information, the rest of the notebook is basically as advertised. It's a notebook. There's no other additional artwork. There's no additional information. There's no character artwork. There's no character bios. It literally is just a notebook. So that's pretty much what you can expect to receive from the collector's edition release of Made in Abyss Binary Star Falling into Darkness for the Nintendo Switch. But the game itself is available for both Nintendo Switch and PlayStation 4.